Welcome to my Coffee Break channel. Snippets about art that might make you ponder. This video is about a well-known artwork that, that perhaps never was. Marshall Duchamp's wheel is a bicycle wheel in the front forks stuck into a wooden stool. He made it in 1913 and here's what the art critic says about it. The work is in one sense the natural heir to the nude descending a staircase number two because it didn't try to replicate movement it moved while his brother raymond and others like umberto bocchiani were making bronze sculptures that emulated movement duchamp made the perfect kinetic futurist sculpture its futile gyrations most likely also harboured a schoolboy allusion to masturbation. That's the end of the quote, but what a load of rubbish. Probably was never an artwork, and Duchamp didn't exhibit it, but he kept it in his studio. He liked to spin the wheel, finding it relaxing to watch. Had he considered it a work of art, surely he would have put it on exhibition somewhere. In fact, within a year or so, it was either lost or thrown away. Three years later, he made another, but this was different as he used bent forks instead of straight ones, presumably the only ones he could get, and this version seems to be the one most copied. Luckily, the miniature I bought at the Pompidou Centre is true to the original with straight forks. And the second one he made also soon disappeared, perhaps some sort of indication of the value he put on it at the time. Then the wheel resurfaced in 1951 when Duchamp, now in America and uh, something of a celebrity, authorised an exhibition copy and he wrote on it Marshal Duchamp, 1913-1959. Yes, 1959, although it was made in 51. This is the one on show in the Museum of Modern Art. It was at this time that Duchamp coined the phrase ready-made to describe it, although you could easily argue not really a ready-made, Duchamp himself constructed it. There are many authorised copies, including one made in 1960 in Stockholm, a version made by Richard Hamilton in 1963, and an edition of eight created by Gallery Sforz in Milan, 1964. Today, it seems that you cannot go around any major art gallery without seeing a copy, authorised or not. A similar fate to his equally famous Urino. Could be suggested that by 1951, Duchamp, like many successful artists, had fallen into the trap of creating products to meet the demand of the market. Similar fate to Jackson Pollock, who described the demand for more of his drip paintings as a prison that restricted his artistic development. So, does anything made by an artist become a work of art? Does a tinkle on a piano by a great composer automatically become a masterpiece? As always in art, it depends on how you look at it. And then, which is the Duchamp artwork? The first one he made in 1913, the one he made three years later, or the copy he made nearly 30 years later, which he described as a ready-made, although it wasn't. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. Please press the subscribe button to see more videos of this ilk.